Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to Raven Gaming Labs and welcome back to another GZ Doom tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue to look at doors. Now, the last door we made in the last video is this one here and it goes up and it stays up and it reveals this secret room here which has a shotgun in it. But what I want to do now is make a door that open and closes and also carries you over here. So basically another secret door. But you'll be able to open it from either side. And I'm going to show you how to do that really quick. So just like in our last one, we're just going to make a, another door here. We'll make it uh, 96 by 96. I believe that's kind of in the center there. And then we're just going to hit Control D. By the way, the way I did that before was Control Shift D. And I'm just going to kind of make like, actually, you know what? I'm going to undo that. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do Control Shift D and I'm just going to. Okay, there we go. Decided to go on ahead and actually make our entry points there. So what we're going to do, like I said, we're going to make a hallway. So, you know, just kind of drag it out any old way you like. It doesn't really matter. Okay, not a perfect hallway, but it is a hallway. And if you were to open it up right now, obviously you could just walk right through, which is totally not what we want. And I'm just going to drag this down and go over here and select this one and drag it down. Now, one thing you do want to make sure is that you didn't drag uh, this down, which is why I hit Q and E, oh, sorry, uh, Q very quickly. So just like in our last one, we're going to hit L to go into line def mode. We're going to select the edges of our door. We're going to right click and we're going to select lower unpegged. And we're going to hit OK. And then we're just going to deselect these here. And we're going to hit S and we're going to select this sector and right click it. And we're going to set it to two and we're going to deselect it there. And we're going to go up here. We're going to select our tag and we're going to set it to three because we want to make sure that these doors are, you know, tagged appropriately. And now what we want to do is hit L and just select our door and right click. And then we want to go to our front because we want to actually assign some textures. But I'm going to make this one actually look like a door. So I think I'll use this color here. And then I'll use this here. Okay. And then for action, we can type in 202. Or you can go over to here. Select this. Go to door. And then generic. It's up to you. We want this one to be a repeatable action. And whenever the player presses use. And for the sector tag, we want it to be tagged to sector 2. And for the door type, we want it to open and close. We can set the delay between when it opens and closes. There's some preset values, but you can pretty much set whatever. Four seconds is fine. And the movement speed, we'll just set it to normal. And, you know, you could also set this so it opens up with, uh, you know, the different keys and all that sort of stuff. But we're just going to we're just gonna leave it like that. And then we're going to hit OK. And now what we're going to want to do is select this line here, right-click it, and select player can use from backside and then hit okay make sure you don't do it for both of these otherwise the door will not work properly and now what we're gonna do is same thing we're gonna set these we're gonna set it to 202 then we're gonna select the sector tag and we are going to set it to three repeatable action when a player presses use and then hit okay and same thing, make sure you select the right one and player can use from the backside. And for figuring out this secret, uh, what should we give the player? Hmm. We should give them something, maybe some ammo for the shotgun. And box of shells, there we go. Okay, and I'm also gonna go on ahead and select this one here. And make sure I actually did select it. I'm going to select player can use from the backside for that one as well. And if all went correct, we can hit play now. Ah, I made a mistake. My bad. Hold, please. Um, I'm going to hit L. 
on this, I'm going to select the front. And I'm going to select this. But I think for here, yeah, this is going to be the back. So I'm going to actually make this be a door. Okay, now we can do it properly. Excellent. So as you can see, there's, you know, we can't see our, well, we can't actually see our door. We should, we'll fix that in a later video. We can go up. And then we can go this way, and the door is very small, so the texture doesn't, uh, it's not appropriate. But as you can see, the door goes up. We can use this one. We now have a shotgun. We can open this up. And there you go. And that's how you make, you know, your double-sided doors that function and work just as you would expect. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. If you have any comments, you can leave them below. Or you can join the Discord. Either is acceptable. Y'all have a good one. Hey everyone, thanks for watching Raven Gaming Labs. Thanks to all the members and viewers who make RGL possible. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell so that you can be notified. If you want to become a member, hit the join button or link in the description below. Members get early access to videos, member exclusive content, and more. As well, don't forget to join our awesome community over at Discord. Y'all have a good one.